Hi everyone, welcome to Acres of Clay. Today I have a new project that I'm working on. I recently purchased some meat birds that I want to raise out in the pasture. And so I am building a chicken tractor. All right, so what I've done so far is I've cut um, two two by fours. Um, what I'm using is all untreated lumber. I've already oil treated um, the base boards, as you can see. I uh, oil treated those, and I have a video of oil treating lumber. I'll put it up in the cards if you are interested in how I did that. Everything I'm using is reclaimed lumber, and it is not treated lumber. But if you have treated lumber, then this would be a good application for using treated lumber. If not, you can oil treat it and it will make your wood last a lot longer. Okay, so the size of this is 15 foot deep by 10 foot wide. And I'm gonna be making an A-frame. I'm kind of making up one as I go so I don't have like, um, I don't have a pattern that I'm working off of. I'm hoping, I only have 20 meat birds right now, but I'm hoping that this will house quite a bit more than 20. The next thing I have to do is I'm putting some bracings in the corners here just to help secure it and make it a little bit more sturdier because this is a tractor and it will be movable. So uh, I want to make sure it doesn't like fall apart while I'm moving it. Alright, so here are the A-frame parts. I got them all cut. Every three foot, I will put like a the A-frame or the truss part. And all the way down. I just treated all of these so they're a little oily yet, but they're soaking in. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and keep working. And I just wear some gloves to keep my hands clean. So what I did with each board was I did a 45 degree cut. And... That way they will match at the top, but they will also, um, at the bottom, at the bottom, they will lay on the 2x4 also. So that's how I'm going to be attaching them. All right, this is what I have done so far. I've only put up two trusses. It's pretty hard to do it with just one person, so I'm probably gonna ask for Kevin's help when he gets a chance. Um, but the, the frames here, I'm putting four foot apart. And then I have these um, 15 foot um, boards that will be supports at the top. I think I'll have one in the middle and then one at the bottom. And that will mainly be um, for the back. It'll be for the steel. It'll be like the, it'll be the boards that I screw the steel to. And then for the front, it will be um, what I staple the wire too so if that makes any sense but it's coming along I've got this all um, coated with oil now but the sky looks a little bit tempting to rain so I may call it a day and come back when it's not raining it hasn't started raining yet we'll see how busy Kevin is here soon and get back at it Alright, day two, we got rained out yesterday, so we finished it today. Um, we have this side done with um, some boards, top, middle, 
and one on the bottom. And this is what I will attach the steel to on the back side. The front side I will attach the chicken wire to. Um, Kevin came up with this door, which it wasn't what I planned on doing, but I guess I'm going to make it work. So, oh look, my help arrived. Just finished oiling a couple more boards for the other side and then we're gonna move it so that we can put some steel on it. It'll be easier instead of dragging the steel all the way over here. All right, I think I am just about ready to put some steel on and to put the chicken wire. The 15 foot boards going across top, middle, and top, middle, and bottom. Ran them all and then every other one I doubled up the 2x4 so so you can see that it's the same because when I put the chicken wire on I'm going to staple it to both of these so it'll be secure so even up at the corner it'll all get stapled it's all the same. The doorway I put in kind of looks a little crooked from here but I guess I can change it if I need to when we hang the door. I got two pieces of steel on. We got a half a sheet to go. Kevin's cut in the steel. We're using repurposed steel. As you can see, it's got some kinks and dings in it, and the line, the holes aren't lining up from the last application that it was on. So, but that's okay. I can come along and um, plug them with some caulk. This is what it's looking like so far. I've got one layer of chicken wire here on the bottom. I still have to put one up here on the top. Then I put um, chicken wire here in the front and I just rolled it up and stapled it and then I took the extra and I don't know if you can see this in the video but the extra I just kind of tied in here with some wire because I thought it was a little bit wasteful to just cut that piece off. So I used it just to reinforce this corner area, make sure that nothing can get in there. I was going to use a finer mesh wire, like a, I don't know, we always call it rabbit wire. You're going to find it in four foot lengths. That's what it is between these two. It's four foot and then four foot because I got eight foot, because um, it's eight foot tall. So I couldn't find it in four foot and then it was quite a bit more expensive than this roll of chicken wire. So I wanted to keep this as cheap as possible. Um, the only thing I've had to buy for this tractor is the wire and I needed I needed some staples so that was $4.99 and the wire I believe was $40 and then I had to buy some tires or some wheels with hubs. Those were $40. Um, $20 a piece. So those are a little bit more expensive I wanted to pay, but hopefully those will work. It's going to be a warm day, so decided I decided that they can go outside and enjoy some sunshine. Right, I'm getting this um, wood ready. I just got done oiling it, but I'm going to make a door. I was going to use uh, this door that was over here, cut it to size, but I decided I didn't know what kind of wood that is. And if it's just a household door, it might rot quickly being out in the element. So I oiled the wood here. I, it's, it's like four... Uh, the dimensions on this is only like four and a half by two, 
two and two foot three inches I think because this way four four foot five inches it's a small door so it's not a big complicated door to make this is how it's gonna look I've got some hinges that I have for it and I've got a latch for it and I'm gonna put this all together it's still wet because I just oiled it but I wear gloves so it's not a big deal and then I'm gonna attach some chicken wire to it and maybe a door handle and that should be good and I'll show you what it looks like once it's finished all right got the door on and I just put two hinges at the top I didn't use the real screws that came with the hinges so I'm gonna have to grind them off or nip them or whatever um, but I had it so I made it so the door swings out and yeah just did that and the only issue I'm thinking is I have the wire on the inside of the door so if it's closed is something going is something going to push against this and try to get those staples out that's my only thought maybe I should put a heavier staple in just to secure the bottom a little bit better. That I might end up doing that. Otherwise, I do have a little bit extra chicken wire I can put on the front of this too, in case I need to double up. But for now I won't. I'll just maybe put some bigger, bigger um, staples in. Next thing I'm doing is I have this latch mechanism thingy that I bought a while back. And I thought this would be a great um, great thing to use. Let's see. I got it for two fifty, so yeah, a little extra price in into this, but um, I think it'll be good. I also have. Let's see, where is it? Oh, right here. I have a door handle. This is a used one. Actually, I think Mackenzie was going to use it. She might have run it over. I can't remember what happened to it, but it's all kind of bent out of shape. But I think it'll fit here and somewhere here maybe and it'll be easy to open close with the handle that's what I'm gonna work at next hopefully this works cuz I got to be able to line these things up just perfectly but we'll get it done this is what it turned out to look like so one-handed here uh, just open it and away you go and you can, and it just shuts locks nothing can get in nothing can get out uh, so yeah, that should work pretty good. I do have a little gap here, but I don't think that's any issue um, to be too concerned about. So there we have it. This is the chicken tractor. It is movable. It's a little bit too heavy for me. So I'm gonna have to figure out yet how to make it a little bit more easier to move. Um, if you guys have any ideas what would make it move easier Right, leave them in the comments below. I still have to do some trim work on the steel on the back and a ridge cap on the top and that will be finished. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an amazing day. Take care.